Today in the news, Intel goes chiplet, AMD has a new Navi GPU and a controller that can hear you. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with Intel. Yesterday, the company gave us an overview on their upcoming XE GPU architecture for data centers called Ponte Vecchio. Did I say that right? I'm not sure. Anyways, this architecture will jump right to the seven nanometer process node and will make its debut in the uh, Aurora supercomputer. What is really interesting about this compute monster is the various technologies Intel will use for the uh, package. So the first thing we notice is the use of EMIB, which ties multiple chip modules, similar to what we've seen in AMD CPUs over the last couple of years. Not only will they be uh, placing chips side by side, but the company will also make use of of their Foveros packaging to stack components. Honestly, the whole packaging is like nothing I've ever seen before. Let me try and draw how the uh, components connect together. First, you have the compute dies. On all the pictures taken at the event, Intel showed the eight chiplets on a single package. Then between those dies is a large unified cache. Intel calls it Rambo and no, it's not an acronym. So the chiplets and the Rambo modules are a single package, which will then be stacked on another substrate where the HBM memory resides. Two of those eight chiplet packages reside on one substrate and that seems to be the final layout. Looking at their mock-up of the chip, I have absolutely no clue how big it's going to be. The form factor also seems like it will resemble a CPU more than a GPU. I mean, look at this picture. Each GPU looks like it could be socketed. Anyways, Intel revealed quite a lot about this new architecture and it truly seems like their focus is on scalability and inter connectivity. For us consumers though, this doesn't mean much. Intel's consumer GPUs will be announced in 2020 and will be based on the 10 nanometer process. 7 nanometer XE consumer graphics probably won't show its face until 2021. Moving on to some AMD news, it looks like their presentation for SIGGRAPH Asia will include a new addition to the Navi lineup. The company is giving a talk about distributed cloud-based GPU rendering tonight in a few hours, and the description reads a new Navi GPU based on the RNDA, which they probably meant RDNA, equipped with 16 gigabytes of memory. With big memory usually comes a big compute. So will this be the first RDNA GPU with more than 40 compute units? I think it might be. AMD's current Radeon Instinct lineup starts with the MI6 accelerator with 36 compute units, but it jumps all the way up to 60 compute units for the rest of the lineup, except for the MI25, which has even more at 64 compute units. Now, I know that it's a different architecture, but it would stand to reason that AMD would go higher than 40 CUs for data centers. I'll see what I can gather from the presentation tonight, and I'll update you guys tomorrow. In console news, we have a more patent drawings for the PS5. Well, not the PS5 itself, but its controller, which I assume will be called the uh, DualShock 5. While not a drastic redesign, Sony did make some adjustments. First, the controller seems a little more chunky than its predecessor. You can tell by the uh, joystick reveal on this drawing here. Also, the charging port has been moved just a little higher. That's a much better place for it, and uh, it's now possible because the light bar has been removed. It also looks like it's going to be USB-C. The triggers look a little bit larger, probably to accommodate for the voice coil actuators for the force feedback system that was talked about during the uh, Wired interview. The patent is actually focused on the small area at the bottom of the controller under the PlayStation button. Apparently this area will feature a built-in microphone, which is pretty nice. If you have a pair of headphones that you like that don't have a microphone, you can just use the controller. What do you guys think? Cool feature or not? In gaming news, it looks like we are inching closer to the uh, next Half-Life game. Throughout the year, we heard about a new entry bundled with a VR headset. When Valve revealed the Valve Index though, there was no Half-Life in sight, so we kind of forgot about it. Well, apparently the next Half-Life game titled Half-Life Alex is supposed to be unveiled at the uh, Game Awards in December. This information comes from a claimed transcript of an unpublished interview between the Game Awards show host and two Valve employees. As for the actual game, well, it's likely going to be a VR exclusive. It's been so long since I've played Half-Life, honestly, I don't even remember the story. What about you guys? How long has it been since you played? 
Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for the news today. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you got any questions or comments, you know where to put them down below. As usual, you can click right here to see Liv's video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosted, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. I don't know why I punched. I just, I saw myself on the, on the monitor and I just decided that makes sense, right? I'm gonna regret